Hello, it's a sunny afternoon and we're on our way to Liverpool. <laughs> and I'm, um, I'm here with Booger and uh, how are you feeling about, about, about this today? Oh, really? I'm looking forward to this. We've done a lot of tickets, it's close to sell out. And uh, it's a very nice room. We're seeing uh, our mate Ben Hughes is opening up for us. We're seeing some yeah. familiar faces there. Hopefully uh, we won't get scammed by that guy who's asked to look after the car for a tenant because that's the kind of place that it is. But I don't know about you, but when we go to Liverpool, do you feel like feel a weight of musical responsibility? With nah, I feel fuck all. I'll tell you what I feel. Do you want to know what I feel? I've just said what you feel. I'll tell you what I feel. Fuck all is what I feel. No weight of musical responsibility. Oh, there. come on. You have to appreciate that this is the home of like great people like Ken Dodd. He can fuck off. Go on, tell me some more. Uh, Ken Dodd's band? Oh, they were right. No, it's it's. Uh, I just remember the last time we played there. There's a there's a very entrepreneurial, I think, semi homeless guy who clocked me on the way out as we were loading up the car. And went, give us a tenner and I'll look after the car for you whilst you. And I was like, oh, okay. Here well, that's you go. fair enough. And then he did the same to you when you came yeah. out the other door. So he made twenty quid for just standing around, not nicking our I shit. I don't think I would have given him 10 Oh, pounds. you did give him a 10 Did I? Because we sat in the car afterwards and I went, did you see that guy? I had to give him a tenner and you went, so did I, in that voice. I did. I gave you like Joe Pasquale. So did I. I had to give him... Yeah, we might as well give him 20 quid because we've just stopped at a service there if you want to be ripped off. I just bought a small bottle of coconut water. Marcus Spencer's coconut water. Um, what is it, £3.50? Do you know what the worst thing is about you buying that M&S coconut water? Oh. The amount of cock you're going to have to take in the arse for buying a fucking M&S coconut water. It's not that, because it said on the bottle, is never, it bottle? never, never, it said on the bottle, never from concentrate. Do you know what else is not in it? Coconut. Exactly. I'll tell you what, the fucking my nuts will be in it if you carry on buying that stuff, you can. This is marketing 101. This is what they'll teach you at university. Right. What you do. Well, that's... That's the wank algorithm fucking us off, isn't it? <laughs> we anyway, have, we might have if to you ever get this, to see this, it'll this be a might, rarity. This might, we might have to do... We might have to it's do already like, the second one. Yeah. We might have to do another one. Oh, so, so I might do it. I tell you what, because I'm holding the phone up, and this morning I woke up with a terrible frozen shoulder. Can I have any thoughts on how to... What I can do? I've taken up a profit. Thoughts in the comments of what I can do to, like... Oh, don't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you in Liverpool. Don't forget next oh. week. The spectacular. Yeah. We've got band special guests, all kinds of things, and uh, jugglers, live, lions, live sex shows, hot sex, all kinds of things. Um, sauna, donkey, donkey show, donkey show. Uh, there's a supermarket sweep, um, trolley dash. There's a uh, whole level of onanism that you only see in biblical times. I don't know what onanism is. What onanism is. Look it up. All right. All right, next week, Cambridge The Junction, Christmas Spectacular, last gig of the year, and also uh, tonight, Liverpool and... There's still some tickets left. Come there, wear something short. Bye.